In this lecture, you will learn how to use must, need, may, and might. Also must or have to and the difference. You will learn ought and should, need, may, and might. The more you practice using these terms, the easiest will be for you to have a conversation. Practice by solving grammar exercises for each lesson prepared specifically for every subject. Must. It is used as an obligation, necessity, in the negative form as prohibition. You must study the lesson to take the test. She must see the doctor. I must find a present for him. You must not feed the dog chocolate. She must lose weight. Must she know all the names? Yes, she must know all the names. No, she must not know all the names. Must I feed the cats? Yes, you must feed the cats. No, you must not feed the cats. Must he carry the box? Yes, he must carry the box. No, he must not carry the box. Must we go now? Yes, we must go. No, we must not go now. Must you sign the document? Yes, I must sign the document. No, I must not sign the document. So must is an obligation. You must do that. However, we can use must as a supposition. She traveled long hours. She must be very tired. It is freezing outside. You must be very cold. Julie spent hours running for practice. She must be tired. There is no air conditioning in the hotel. They must be very hot. She had a physical and had to be fasting. Now she must be so hungry. Must or have to. When we use must, it is because it's necessary or the rule is a law, is a rule. Remember, you must follow the rules. You must buy a present for my daughter because I decided to do so. I must exercise more, the doctor told me. I must remember to call him. I must exercise to lose weight. When we, have, we use have, the obligation is more like responsibility and less personal. For instance, I have to buy a present for my boss. I don't really need to do it. I'm not forced to do it. But it is good if I do this. So I say I have to buy a present for my boss, either because I like him or because I want to be uh, make him happy. I have to talk to him to make arrangements. You don't know, you are sorry, you don't have to get up early tomorrow. More sentences here. You have to file a report with the police. Do you have to wear a jacket? Did she have to call the police? They told me that I have to wear a tie if I go to the party on Saturday. I must finish this as soon as possible not to get into trouble. Should, ought to, or have done, or to have done. They have similar meanings. Should is more common than ought to, and either way is correct. Should have plus the past participle is about past events, something that did not happen, such as a regret or a mistake. Example, you should have signed a check before mailing it, or you ought to have signed the check before mailing it. You should have asked permission before going to visit him. You ought to have asked permission before going to visit him. Note that the form ought to is stronger than should, and it cannot be contracted. Negative ought not to we ought not to have ordered so much food. More sentences here. They ought to have more schools in this town. 
or they should have more schools in this town. He ought to eat more vegetables, not junk food. He should eat more vegetables, not junk food. I ought to have locked the house. I should have locked the house. I ought to have studied a better career. I should have studied a better career. The visit ought to take only half an hour. The visit should take only half an hour. Now we'll see the verb need. Need is a principal verb and actually a verb. You can use need in exchange for must. I must go to school or I need to go to school. However, the meaning is something you need, such as I need water to survive. The formal way is as follows, even though we don't use that anymore almost, at least not here in the US. I need to study more hours. Need you study more hours? I needn't study more hours. You need go to school. Need I go to school? You needn't go to school. She need to sleep earlier. Need she sleep earlier? She needn't sleep earlier. We need to stop watching TV. Need we stop watching TV? We need to stop watching TV. Babies need lots of care. Need babies lots of care. Babies need lots of care. Dog need go out three times a day. Need dogs go out three times a day? Dogs needn't go out. Peggy needs more time. Need Peggy more time? Peggy needn't more time. Need. However, the most common use is with auxiliary do, does, and did. I didn't need to buy any books. Do you need any help? We need some volunteers. Do we have all we need? Does he need our help? They did not need to go by themselves. May. You use the verb may to ask permission. May I say something? May he come with us? May I ask why you took that decision? Possibility. It is used to say something, it's possible. She said she might be late. Jane may be upset after what he said. Jane may not be upset. Perhaps she's tired. May as conditional. If the weather is nice, I may go out. Comparison. He may be a good father, but he's a terrible husband. Formal. May she rest in peace. May I say something? Might. Might as pass of may used in reported speech to express possibility, permission, and or conditional. Reported speech. Also, might is used as the past tense of may when reporting what somebody has said. Example, he said he might come tomorrow. Permission, might I borrow the stapler? Possibility, he said he might come tomorrow. Conditional, even if I enter the contest, I might not win. This is the end of lecture seven. Please continue to lecture eight.